to the bare knuckle debate. The role of the director was invented by talentless hacks who did not have the imagination to become writers, the creativity to become designers, or the stunning good looks to become actors. Blend together, and that's where the director comes in. Without the director, you've got no kind of consistency throughout your whole ideology. And uh, uh, I would like to mention that Terry Loretto is uh, fantastically gorgeous. I've always been a big fan. And um, uh, Al, your mama is so dumb, she got locked in a grocery store and starved to death. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Shakespeare. Bring on the barge or back off, Bill. Yeah. Let's go down and itemize list of the stabbings. Macbeth, stabbing. King Lear, stabbing. Richard III, stabbing. Coriolanus, hell of a lot of stabbings. Sweet power of music. Therefore the poet did feign that Orpheus drew trees, rocks, stones, and floods, since none so stockish, hard, and full of rage, but music for the time doth change his nature. The man that hath no music in himself is fit for treason, stratagems, and spoils. Mark the music. Listen to Shakespeare. I am tired of seeing pretentious fuckers be like, I go to Randolph, I must be important. La ho! We are at an independent Honduran theater festival. Uh, we are part of the biggest network of independent theater festivals in the world, the Canadian Association of Fringe Festivals. And uh, theater is history, but it's constantly evolving history. And just because we may not have any famous playwrights south of the border now, doesn't mean that there aren't an incredible wealth of talented, um, driven, passionate people creating theater every day, and we are currently surrounded by them. You and I are two examples of it. Because we've all seen that device theater show, you know the one, where half of it is dancing, the other half is poetry that they took out of their elementary school workbooks, and they're like, I haven't read this in five years, but I thought now, in front of you, would be the best time to show it. Switch gears and argue that Goodbye's performance is really how theater works. It proves that the playwright's not necessarily the thing, that you can have the best play in the world, and if you've got a terrible director and hopeless actors and a set that's just, it makes no sense, it's not gonna work. All right. Okay.